started. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. Middle of July. We're going to do this a little bit differently. We're going to do two sides. Now, however this resonates with you, it could go many different ways. You could be over here. You could be over here. The other person could be over here. This could be somebody that you're dealing with. This could be somebody that, the, the, your, that your person is dealing with. You know, you figure it out. What do we have for Pisces? Two different versions, basically. Okay, I'm going to say you and the other person quite a few times. Ooh, you saw how that happened. It came flying out and tipped over. I know a lot of you guys probably don't want to see that. Who does? Who does? I don't think anybody does. Two cups reversed? You know, that ain't, it's not good. All right, that's not good. The Emperor reversed. So you could be dealing with an Aries, or you could be dealing with anybody. But this is this could be a father, a husband, uh, a boss. This is a partnership. This is a this is a relationship that is, you know, it may be out of control. Somebody may be losing their focus. They may not be invested. They're losing their concentration. There could be some anger. There could be some kind of upset that causes a partnership to end. Okay? I mean, I can't make it up. Things are out of control. And I think we have somebody here that is trying to, you know, is probably, you know, clinging to control, trying to be under control. But you, if it's, you know, if you're not compatible, you're not compatible. Or if it's over, it's over. It is what it is. So, yikes, that's all I can say. This is, a, this is an Aries um, or a father or a very dominant male that is indecisive. This male may be very stubborn. Um, hmm. Let's see what we got here. This male, whoever this, this could be you, if you are the male watching this, you could be deciding to put the brakes on a relationship or a partnership. Let's get a couple cards for over here, this other person. Adjustment. This is the justice card reverse. This is unfair. This person may see it as being unfair. This person may lack integrity. You know, this is a karmic contract. Okay, so this may be a karmic. This, this is... Um, uneven it's unbalanced it's there's something that is lacking here this is unfair treatment you may they see you this is a person that you know things may get turned upside down there's some karma here this is not good karma either evolving changing finding peace this is a change this is a transition we got somebody that is transit transitioning prince of pentacles there definitely could be some upset there could be some sort of anger there could be a blow up i just got to be honest with you somebody definitely it's like this is a dead end it's a dead end queen of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn so you could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Sagittarius. You know, this has to do, this is a reason, this is a purpose. So everything happens for a reason. So keep that in mind. Whoever this person is, there's there's been some unfair treatment with this person. Somebody was treated unfairly. Somebody from the past. Okay, somebody from the past, and you get bad karma for that shit. So anyway, this is unfair treatment. Now this is this is to the the past. Okay, this has to do with your past. Um, somebody from your past. Let's go back over here. Another flipper. Death. You know what? This is a little bit much for me. Okay. Um, my father is an Aries. Anyhow, um, 
I don't know what this is. This is the end. This is the end of a partnership. It's the end of a relationship. It is. So we have somebody over here <laughs> that is releasing. This person is letting go of control. They're losing focus and they're losing concentration. Something is coming to an end. Over here, we have an unfair situation with somebody from the past. Somebody was treated unfa unfairly. Now there's been some sort of karma. There's a dead end. Somebody may have got involved with, you know, tried to come together with somebody else, tried to work with somebody else. Seven of Cups. But now we have somebody, Seven of Cups reversed, that is making a decision. Some, this somebody has made a decision to change, to, to change, to not. Somebody has changed because this is change. Now this says art. This is a creator. This is somebody who creates art. This is some sort of artist of some sort. So, hmm. Magic. That is magical. So anyway, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. This person has a big heart. This person is loving. This person is tender, loving, care. Not only does she have a big heart, this person has is stable. This person is solid. This person is secure. This person is devoted. This person is down to earth. This person is, is love. This person has made a decision. Almost, it's like to block something. This person has made a decision to block the past, to evolve, to change, to allow even though there's been some unfair treatment, even though there's been a lack of integri integrity, even though there's been some lies and deception. Okay, let's get some more cards over here. So the, here we have somebody here that is evolving. Somebody is changing. Somebody is going through it. This is a trans transition or a transformation. So we have somebody here that is going on this side that is going through a transformation. A decision has been made. This person is very grounded, very intuitive. This is an intuitive. But this person has made a decision that they do not want a fresh start, that they do not want to start over. This person, you know, doesn't want to be taken advantage of. This person doesn't want to be foolish. This person has fear. This person has fear of not getting anything solid, not being, not making the right decision, fear, very insecure. There's insecurities here. This person has put the brakes on. Like I said, there's no movement. This person has totally put the brakes on a new beginning. They have, the, the brakes have been put on. There's, there's no moving forward with this person. This person has decided, you know, I'm not going to be treated unfairly. Maybe this person is is coming together with somebody from their past. Maybe that's what the... Because somebody has made a decision. It looks like it's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Queen of Pentacles, the Prince of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. It looks like it's an Earth sign to me. Could be a Libra. Could be any other. Could be a Sagittarius. Could be a Water sign. But whatever. Could be an Aries. But over... Anyway, I feel like we have somebody here that is absolutely putting the brakes on a situation. It's like there's no more movement. There's It's completely stalled. It's completely stopped. Or this per you this you know this person may have put the brakes on and now this person has no choice but to change to evolve to allow and to let go of the past. This could go a thousand different ways. Okay, let's go back over here. We got somebody here that has a, a huge opportunity. This person is holding on to it though, and this is the future. This is in your future. So whoever th there's there's a there's a very stable opportunity here. But it's not being offered. It is not being offered. It's like this person is hanging on to it. I'm not giving you a damn thing. So let's see what we got over here. We got, uh, this is a loss, okay? This is the end of a partnership. 
Okay. Damn it, I didn't even focus that in, did I? Ain't that sucky. Sorry. It is what it is. I'm not going back. And that's what, exactly what it is. It is what it is, and I'm not going back. And that, those words came out for a reason. You didn't even see it. You didn't even see it. You didn't think it would ever happen. This person is working hard on releasing. This person over here is working hard on letting go. This person is insecure okay with that five of pentacles this person may have a victim mentality they see themselves as the victim you know they may have left somebody behind they may be leaving somebody behind leaving a partner behind this person is also going through a transformation five of cups there's a loss here there's grieving there's sadness No more working together. There's no teamwork. There's no compromise. There's no collaboration. There's no more communication. It's like we have somebody here that is, is, is calling it quits. It's over. And that's what we got here. There could be a, a burst of anger or some sort of burst here that causes somebody to just, you know, end it. This person over here. The brakes have definitely been put on. Whether they've been put on by this person or this person, the brakes have definitely been put on. There's a big, huge, major change here. There's been unfair treatment. There's been a lack of justice. There's been a lack of integrity with somebody from the past. The Six of Cups. Whoever this person is, this with the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, this person has a big heart. This person is solid. This person is stable. This person has is 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 a creator. She's intuitive. She's grounded. She has a connection. She does. She's she's it's like magical. That that is the that's the temperance card. She has the skills. But there's no fresh start here because the brakes have been put on. Okay, I'm, I'm accepting there's a purpose. This happened for a reason. So we have this person over here that is holding on to their security, holding on to their offer, N made a decision to hold on. I'm not giving it away. Nine of Cups reversed. Now this is a deep bond. Nine of Cups reversed is good. Things are starting to look up. Think about it. A deep fulfillment is coming. Singles are going to be re are meeting a soulmate. They're going to be meeting a you know, a love connection very soon. So we have somebody over here, whether this is you or the person that you're dealing with, somebody's probably about to come together with a, some, a lover, okay? Somebody is about to go, come together with a lover that they're going to have. This is a deep soul bond. Could be with another earth sign. Over here, we have a loss. I mean, with that death card and the two of cups reversed, we do have a loss. Somebody is releasing the five of cups. and Somebody's being left behind. Somebody has made a decision, maybe even out of anger, you know, which, you know, that usually causes somebody to make a decision to just, you know, end it. Somebody, that, this is, this is, uh, Stability. Holding on to stability. Holding on. Somebody may have been holding on for financial stability. The only reason they were holding on was for the money. The money that they were going to get from this. Maybe for sex as well. Maybe for money and sex. We have somebody here that is finding their strength to release, though. I mean, it wasn't love, okay? It wasn't love. Based on ego, okay? It was. It was based on ego. So we have somebody here that is releasing a 
it's like they're releasing somebody that they were holding on to just for the money and the sex because but there was no love that's what we got here and that's the truth and then over here we have somebody here that is about to have a wish fulfilled this is a wish fulfilled it's like this is what I've been wishing for Wishing for this change, wishing for this, re re wishing, wishing for this release, wishing for this transition, wishing, okay? This person may have even been waiting to be released, you know? And she's got, she's got her security, she's got her money, she's got her stability, she's stable and solid and secure, and she's got a big heart too, whoever this person is. Anyway, this person is in no hurry this person is in no hurry this person has no <laughs> desire to make any moves this per and then we have uh, somebody here that is probably scared of her probably scared of scared of coming forward somebody has absolutely put the brakes on they're no longer even interested not interested at all I think that they were treated unfairly dealing with this person was dealing with, you know, an uh, untrustworthy individual that doesn't care who they hurt. Ooh. <laughs> but now somebody is is <laughs> I mean there we go, this princess of pentacles. It's like uh, there's no I'm not focused on it anymore. I have no desire. None. No not even care I don't care I got better things to do we got somebody over here that has decided that they got better things to do then focus on you know having a stable solid relationship with this player okay because we're dealing with somebody that lacks integrity we're dealing with a player this person realizes it's just like this person is just like are you fucking kidding me this is a joke who is this joker so yeah we got this person that is is really i mean their intuition is telling them this is this is not it this is an untrustworthy individual okay but there's a new bond there's a new opportunity coming in this is a deep bond is coming for this person who is holding on this person that is stable solid and secure and is seeing things you know clearly this person's going to get some sort of wish fulfilled. Oh, Knight of Wands. And this person going to stick around. This person ain't going to just <laughs> jump and run. So let's talk about this person over here. This is, this is, this is, she don't even have to take any action and she's not taking any action. This person just sitting back and watching somebody. It's almost like watching somebody, uh, watching the lies watching the deception watching the drama it's like this is this is great this is this is a wonderful show yeah, so anyway it doesn't see this person ain't taking any action at all very comfortable with where she's at very comfortable and she has a new opportunity coming in she does, but, and this is from somebody who is not just, is going to, this person going to stick around. I was going to go over there, but this is a, this is a new idea. This is a new thought. This is a new opportunity here. She's got it. And that's what we got here. She's going to receive communication or she's communicating with somebody else who, you know, isn't fly by the seat of her pants, his pants, his or her pants. So this is a new idea. This is a, this is this is it. This is your new beginning. This is honest, truthful. Anyway, this person has a new beginning here. Over here we got somebody here that is is no longer putting in effort. We got somebody over here that was that was hanging on just for the money and the sex and now they're releasing no more investing. Um, this person is not investing another minute either. This person is also going through a transformation. 
So yeah, I mean, we got transformation here. We got, we have a release. We have endings and new beginnings for both people. Does this person, what's, what's going on with this person? This person is relocating or somebody in the household is relocating. Um, hey man, this could be your side Pisces. I'm not sure, but this does represent you. This is a state of confusion, a state of suspension, a state of limbo to heal and be enlightened. So this person is probably going to take time out and go through a period of transformation. To gather their thoughts, to figure out where they're going, to figure out what they want. So I see a relationship ending over here. This person, this could be the person you're dealing with. I don't know. Whoever this person is, this person is deciding to go within. They're deciding to do their own work by themselves. This is isolate themselves. This person is deciding to release and be alone. This person has a new opportunity coming. They were involved in a dead end. And I think that whatever this dead end that they were involved in, there was no passion. You know, there was no passion. This person was probably hurtful. This person was mean. You know, this person didn't care who they hurt. This person may have been clinging to the past, thinking about their past, dreaming about their past, whatever. This person may still be still, this person that hurt, did the, the, you know, didn't act in tech with integrity may be, you know, in love with their past. Who knows? This is honest, truthful. This is the sword of truth. This is acceptance. Somebody's, this person has woken up. This is an awakening. No desire to go back. So I don't know which, which one is you, but we got this person over here that is releasing completely. Isolating, going within, going to work on themselves. This person is going, they're both, both people are going through transformation. This person hasn't been treated fairly. But now they accept the truth, they see the truth, and they're taking their power back. They're being given the power. The power is in their hands now. And I think that somebody is coming that is going to stick around. Whether they come during this period of time, it, it may not. It may not happen. It's coming. But it takes time. Divine timing right here. That is a temperance card. It, it, all in good time. All in good time. And it feels like this person realizes it too. When it's meant to be, it will come. You know, I'm not going to invest my energy into some sort of lie. No way. I feel like we over here, it's like this person sees that they've been dealing with a liar. They see that they've been dealing with a player because this is a player card. This is a player card. This is a liar. So, and it's like this one's looking in, you know, they, they notice that they've been dealing with a liar, a fake. It's a loss of a relationship here, unfortunately. Could be a friendship. Could be a relationship, could be a friendship, and I feel like there's there's like a, 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 a I'm not I'm going through a period of healing. This person's going through a period of healing after some sort of betrayal. So there's a healing period over here because this person has released. So that's what I got. Good luck. <laughs>